Hello and welcome back to another beer review with me, Ruku. Can't wait for this. This is by Stone Brewery uh, from America. Now this, what a beer. What a beer this is going to be. I predict big things for this. This has a long list. Really? So this is a stout with chocolate, coffee, pastoral pepper, vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg, rice and oats. Eight different ingredients ladies and gentlemen. Cannot wait to try this. Now this is apparently based on uh, or inspired by Mexican hot chocolate and tres leches. Tres le leches? Leches. I don't know. I'm not Mexican. Can't speak Spanish. Um, but this is Imperial Stout. 8.5%. This is in a 330. And it says here, inspired by Mexican hot chocolate. So, it says here that the two Latin American inspired treats meet into a silky smooth, luscious creation. Started out as a coffee spiced laced tribute to the hot chocolate. Or Mexican hot chocolate. And this year the brewers took to the next level by taking traditional confections of Tres Liches and additional influence of two different inspirations. Plus three liches equals a treat for all five senses. This two plus three is a one time variation of our beloved holiday release. So indulge while you can. We certainly won't judge you. Good, because I intend to indulge. And uh, yeah, I've been looking forward to this. And what I do love here... You see that? You see the little ring pull there? It's got a the devil's f uh, face, like in the horns, like it predicts here, which is really cool detail. I love detail like that. It goes a long way. <sighs> Look at this. Look at this. This is going to be beautiful. Oh, mate. Am I salivating? Yes. Yes, I am. <sighs> yep, okay, so it's dark again, small head, yeasty bubbles, big, small, yeasty looking, tanned, off white, beigey, bit runny. So, yeah, let's go with the aroma because this is going to taste probably the absolute dog's bollocks. So, let's go. There is a lot going on there. You can smell a lot. I smell chocolate. I smell spices. A little bit of wheat. A little bit of rice. Oh, mate, that's amazingly good. Right, okay, I'm just going to go and do this now. Let's just go. That smells amazing, so let's hope this tastes amazing too. Oh, that was worth the wait. That was worth the wait, ladies and gentlemen. That is very strong. Strong alcohol hit. It gives a slight burn. And then my palate doesn't know where to turn. I have got all sorts happening. That is really, really strong. It's tons of flavour. There's spices. What gets me, it tastes like a sweet stout at the beginning. Then the nutmeg comes in, that's, that's a real strong spice. And it's a very borderline overpowering. It's, it really takes over the taste buds. Um, then I've got a bit more of the booziness. I get a little bit of lactose. Then it sort of smooths out. I've got lactose, smoother texture now, but that nutmeg is still there, it's still in the back of the throat, it's still burning, still spicing things off. Uh, a little bit of chocolate, but not overly much, because again, I think the nutmeg there is a little bit too powerful for this. I 
get a nice milky chocolate to it. I get the the well roundedness of what would be, I guess, a hot chocolate. When you're having that hot chocolate, it's indulgent, it's Moorish. I've got that Moorish flavour as well with an alcohol kick and that nutmeg hit. God, this spice is. It's, I'm sure there's like a, a chilli in here because that can't just be surely just a nutmeg. Oh yeah, the peppers. No, I don't know if they're a chilli pepper, I have no idea. But there is a, a certain heat to that as well via like a chilli pepper. I do get a little bit of the vanilla, which uh, is nice, pleasant. Um, it really smooths out and rounds off towards the end to a nice, milky, spicy hot chocolate. They've done well. They've done well with this. And I, I, I can't shake that kick. It really is in the back of the throat. It just, it's just there. It's incredible. This actually reminds me of uh, a beer that Brewdog did many years ago. And they had chilli pepper in it. It was very similar in taste. It's that lovely, sweet flavour, that silkiness, that chocolate goodness, that stout, that richness. And then bang, the fire, the heat. Very, very similar. Uh, it says, I think this is slightly stronger, 8.5. What a beer. Um... Even the aftertaste for this is still there. <laughs> it's still smooth, chocolatey with the fire. I'm sure that is a, a chili pepper. I need to have a look into what a pastilled pepper is, so I'll Google that and see if I'm right because that can't just be the nutmeg. That's got to be a chili pepper of some kind, but hey, that is different. Smooth, luxurious, fiery is how I'll describe this beer. And what would I score uh, this beer from America? Well, I'm going to score this a 8 out of 10. Great flavours. Just a little bit heavy hitting on the uh, spices there. But other than that, if you don't mind a bit of spice, it's not the end of the world. So yeah, I like it. It's different. It's unusual. Happy days. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my playlist and uh, I'll be back for some more beer reviews. So yeah, I've got loads more to get through. So, till next time, thanks for watching.